want to communicate today. I thought it would be nice to do that today because it needs to be a shorter reading because I've been very busy this week so I thought it would still be nice to put a reading up to see what's going on. I know everybody loves to know what Divine Musculans love to communicate um, so I'm going to use Divine, Mes Divine Musculan Messages of Love from Miss Harrison just to see what the communication is, what's going to come out today. Um, as I said, I hope you guys are well and you're coping with whatever situation you're in. Um, and if you are new, welcome to my channel, Align With My Soul. My name is Zoe. Um, and thank you to all of you guys for all the love and support that you give me. Um, it really does mean the world to me and it really does comfort me to know there's other people in the same or similar situation. That's the whole point of me doing this channel because I wanted to be connected with people like you so we can help each other because sometimes it can be very lonely and challenging um, as well as a blessing on this journey. So thank you so much for your encouragement and taking the time to actually comment and share how you've been feeling and where you are on your journey so far. So thank you. Um, if you'd like a clearer message for your personal unique twin flame journey I can book you in um, just email me it's in the description box down below and I do use the labels divine feminine divine masculine because that's how I channel please don't be offended just put it into your situation how it resonates with you I do realize it's just energy and my readings are timeless so it doesn't matter when you've clicked onto the reading if you feel connected to me and you understand how I channel because I am very deep um, and the message resonates, it means it's for you. So let's see what the Divine Muslims would love to communicate with you today. And that one fell out, so I'm going to take that. Let's see what the first message is. I need space right now to heal. So that really wanted to come out, so... That's what the Divine Muskins want you to know. So if there has been silence and there's been a pause, they're using this time right now to um, do their preparation, is the word. Let's see what else is going to come out. I desire you on every level. I made a wish and you appeared. And I'll get one more. I miss our friendship. So lots of different communication today. Um, so if you were feeling really anxious today and um, wanting to know what's going on with your divine masculine, they want, and at the bottom of the deck, sorry, is trust me. <laughs> um, your divine masculines do need their space at the moment. And that is why there is silence. If you've been experiencing silence and the pause and you've been wondering what have, you know, what is going on with the divine masculine, they need, this time right now to work things out and um, to spend time focusing on themselves and dealing with things that need to be dealt with. So, you know, preparation for, you know, because they know the divine masculines that when they do come back with you, to you, sorry, it's got to be so different. Like I've said in the readings, they want to be, they want to show you their authentic self. They want to show you who they truly are. So at this time, that's what they're working through. This is what they're doing. This is precious time, even though it's very annoying and very frustrating for the Divine Feminines because the ego kicks off and creates so much fear and doubt because we're thinking, oh my goodness, what's going on with the Divine Masculine? Do you know, oh, um, this isn't working. Um, and doing all of those things that the ego likes to create all this um, drama for us. The Divine Muskins want you to know they need this space because they, they are preparing and they're sorting things out. Um, so don't be alarmed by that. Don't be scared of this silence or pause if that's what you're experiencing. It's all for, it's how it's meant to be right now. And they desire you on every level. So they do desire you on every level. Um, 
again, so if you've been, you know, really thinking about your divine masculine and you've been desiring your divine masculine on every level, they feel exactly the same as you and they want you to know that. And sometimes that's really hard for the divine feminine to take on board as well. Um, but they do desire you and it, and because there is silence and pause it doesn't mean to say the divine masculine doesn't love you and that they're running and they're not coming forwards it's just because they're using this time for preparation so you can come back together as one and you're doing your preparation and that's why your divine masculine is doing it and because you are setting healthy boundaries because you are knowing your worth you know you're deserving of this love and you're so in tune with yourself divine um, feminines and that's what the divine masculine is they're so in tune with themselves and they know things have to be different they know that you're not going to stand for things how they were before you're not going to, going to take breadcrumbs <laughs> um you really want the real deal or the real thing <laughs> because you know your worth now so don't be alarmed they do desire you on every level um, and they made a wish and you appeared. So, as I've said before in previous readings, your Divine Masculines, you know, have always wished for this experience, to have a relationship, the, you know, to experience true love, to experience unconditional love, um, and to, f to have this beautiful relationship with somebody, <laughs> and you appeared. Um, and it could have come in a way where <laughs> that your Divine Masculine wasn't expecting it to happen in this particular way. The same as you experienced that it didn't you know, come in the way you um, expected as well. It never does. But that's how why it's so special and so precious. But they didn't make a wish and you appeared and they want you to know that. Um, and, you know, the thing, you know, the illusions... And all the things that you've both been working through, um, you know, at the time we thought there were complications and challenges and there was no solution. Um, but the Divine Masculines are seeing through the illusions now because you're seeing through the illusions and you're not putting on it, putting expectations to things to be a certain way. You are accepting things as they are and allowing yourself to receive this love um, instead of putting blocks in the way thinking well this can't work because of this and as I always say they, you know with the complications or the illusions it can be lots of different circumstances where you're experiencing um, there could be other relation you know you could have been in a relationship or your divine masking could have been in a relationship when you appeared in each other's life um, marriages, uh, children, um, religion, age gap, different countries, language barriers, so many things that we put, you know, in the way of thinking, well, that's not going to work because of this and that, and I don't know how that's, you know, um, it's seeing through those illusions, and you both are seeing through those illusions now, um, so, and your divine masculine misses the friendship that you have between us, they between you. They do miss your friendship, and friendship, you know, you have to have a good friendship, um, you and your divine masculine, and they're missing that. They're missing being able to talk to you and speak to you and having that relationship with you, that friendship with you. So they're missing that today, and they want you to know that they miss the friendship. Um, so this is really beautiful, isn't it, guys? So there's nothing to fear. If you're feeling down or the fear and the doubt is really attacking you today, don't be alarmed because they do desire you on every lo level and this love is real. Um, but they're using this space to do their preparation. And, you know, on the card it says, I need space right now to heal and I've been thinking about this a lot recently there is nothing to actually heal um it's about us actually just allowing ourselves to be in the present moment and not to think about the past and not to to think too far ahead just to return to who we truly are um not allowing the ego to take over and thinking that we are our thoughts and 
um, it's about just returning home to who we truly are. When the word healing comes up, it's not healing, it's just returning back to who we truly are and letting go of all the different experiences and um, the things that have affected us before. We're not allowing those things to affect us anymore. We are learning just to be and to be in the present moment because that's where the power is. So that that's what the Divine Masculine is learning to do because that's what you're doing. Whatever you're doing for yourself, you're doing for your Divine Masculine because you're one soul. So when we can stop and um, ourselves from thinking that your Divine Masculine is separate from you and realise that you are one soul and you're just not with the physical person and just accept everything for what it is right now you will find that inner peace and you will be able to achieve being in the present moment and realising that the power is in the now. There is nothing to fear, there is nothing to worry about um, because your Divine Masculine is coming back to you because you're coming back to who you truly are. The more you do for yourself and focus on yourself, your Divine Masculine does the same thing for himself. When you choose yourself and know your self-worth and not be on this journey in fear of thinking your Divine Masculine isn't coming back to you, you will feel so much more peaceful and this Zen feeling, that inner peace. So let's see what the energy pots, my energy pots say. So I hope that's helped you in some way today and you're really happy with this communication and you're not scared and you're not upset because it says I need space right now to heal or pissed off with me. <laughs> but that's, you know, how it is right now and there's nothing to fear. It's all good. It's precious time. Love, yeah. They're in their heart space and they are full of love for you because they're giving love to themselves and you're giving love to yourself and this is why they're doing that for themselves as well. Courage. <laughs> so the space um, that your Divine Masculine is in right now is, you know, they're using this time to find that courage. This is what they're preparing, to have this courage to show their love, to show you who they truly are, their authentic self. This is what's happening in this time right now, is they're build, they are building this courage up to share this love with you. Let's see what my communication says as well. It's beautiful, isn't it guys? The love I feel for you makes me feel like exploding. <laughs> yeah, they do feel like exploding their love. They're really wanting to express their love to you. They're ready to explode because they're desiring your every level as well. I want to show you my authentic self, and I just said that, didn't I? <laughs> they do want to show you their authentic self. They want to share their love with you because they're ready to explode. And in this time when they're having space, this, they're building the courage up. They're preparing to have this courage to share their love with you. So that's beautiful, guys, isn't it? Um, I'm going to get a card for you as well, what God wants you to know today as well, to help you stay focused and help you do what you're already doing because you're doing an amazing job. So I'm going to use the reminder cards to bring forth your beautiful divine inner spirit. What is the message for the divine feminines today to help them stay focused, to believe, to trust and do what they're already doing, just to be? strength to carry on, to 
doing their preparation. Here's a message today for the defendants. Nice clear message. Please what they need to know today. You are beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Somebody needed to hear that today. You are so beautiful. And the message is, there is a divine beauty which flows through you and around you. The more you see and accept this beauty, the more it becomes part of you and your life. This beauty is eternal life force. When you acknowledge it, both of you and your life will be filled with even more love and beauty. That action to take is see the divine beauty in everyone and everything, even when you can, it can appear not to be so pretty. And the powerful affirmation is, I see the beauty in everyone and everything. Yeah. Know how beautiful you are, guys. Know how beautiful you are. You're beautiful. And the more you can do that, the more you are, you know, allowing yourself to receive, um, all of your desires and dreams and this beautiful love from your divine masculine and when you feel beautiful your divine masculine feels beautiful <laughs> um because what you do for yourself you do for your divine masculine too so know how beautiful you are um and how amazing you're doing on this journey and how everything is how it's supposed to be right now it's all perfect and there is always movement forwards there's always action being taken and even if you are in an uncomfortable situation and you're feeling a little bit lost and um tired and all of those things that you can feel on this journey um everything's working out for you know how amazing you are know how beautiful you are because your divine masculine loves you and desires you on every level. So that's the message that you needed to hear today. And it's in the beautiful green, which is, you know, the heart chakra, you know, love. There's a lot of love coming through today in this reading. And your divine masculine wants you to know how beautiful you are. But you need to know that yourself and then you're divine, when you know that yourself, your divine masculine will tell you that as well. When you know it yourself, you have to know it yourself first. And be truthful to yourself and then your divine masculine will be truthful to you as well. So that's amazing, isn't it, guys? Right, I'm going to leave it there. So thank you for watching and joining me today for this reading. Um, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really helps my channel grow. And like I said, if you'd like a clearer message for your personal unique twin flame journey, just um, email me and I can book you in. It's in the description box down below. And you know, I'm always thinking about you though, guys, sorry. <laughs> And I'm sending my love, my support, my strength and light you all. And I love you all so very much. See ya. Oh, that's your soul.